Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here on location at Crater Lake in Oregon. This place is amazing. Now, obviously, you see the lake behind me. I'm going to talk about that cone, that island that's out there here in just a minute. But before I do that, let me tell you about the lake. So imagine this place 7,000 years ago. What I'm standing on was a 12,000-foot volcano. It erupted and then imploded on itself into, into this cauldron. So into this, it like it, it sunk down. And what happened is over 7,000 years, it filled up with snow and water. There are no rivers feeding this lake whatsoever. It's kept full by that rain and snow. But it stays at a constant level and doesn't overflow because just north of us, there's kind of a small leak in the porous rocks that allows it to stay at that constant level. Now, here's the cool part is that when that volcano collapsed down, imploded on itself, this lake turned into a 1,900 foot deep lake then. How cool is that? That is the deepest lake in the United States and it's the deepest volcanic lake anywhere in the world. Now, if you thought that was cool, it gets even neater. You see that big island behind me? That's actually another volcano cone that actually came up out of the ground over time. and. And the very top of that, you can see the little indent where the volcano would be. Now, that hasn't erupted in a long time, but that's the, another, another top of the volcano. And there's another one actually underneath the water. Now, when this thing erupted and it happened, it was, like I said, about 7,000 years ago, most likely human beings witnessed that or were a part of it, whether they survived or not. And that's a kind of amazing thing to keep in mind. Now, the other amazing thing, as you're walking around here, you see these incredible trees. Some of the species here are called white bark pine. They can actually live to be a thousand years old. Some of the oldest living organisms on the planet. Amazing. If you have a chance, come on down to this national park. One of the coolest things I've ever been to. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy. I'll see you at the zoo.